Welcome back to the Venom Workshop. So today what I'm gonna teach you how to do is, <clears throat> um, we're gonna change the clutch cover. So there's nothing really wrong with the clutch cover on this. I just wanted to do a video on uh, how to do it. This is the older style Ghost. Don't mind how rough this one looks. This one gets ridden every day. Uh, this bike has well over 10,000 miles on it. Um, so you'll notice that there's a little bit of rust on this one. And it's, this is, I think it's a 2017 or a 2018 model, but, um, and it's also got a Nibby upgrade on it. What we're gonna be doing though, is the same on this bike as it is on uh, any of the other bikes. Um, they all have the same clutch cover. So we can go ahead and we can change that. Um, I'm probably gonna move this brake <clears throat> out of the way. Uh, you might not have to do that on your bike. It's probably lower. It's just the way the frame's made on this that the foot peg is way up here instead of back down here. Um, so yeah, so first you're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take the oil and drain the oil out of it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get something to put the oil under, uh, an oil pan or something that I can drain that into. And uh, uh, I'm gonna get the, the wrench. It should be a 17 mil underneath there to take the, the drain bolt off. And uh, we're gonna get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna drain the oil. And what you're gonna need is a 24 mil socket or a 24 mil wrench um, to get the drain plug off, which is right down underneath here. Um, because how low this bike sits on the kickstand, not even my smallest little bucket here will get underneath there. So I'm just gonna lift it up a tiny bit. So I can put my bucket underneath there. And then I can put it back down. And the oil should all pour down into there now. There we go. And like I said, all I have to do is take that plug out. Now behind that plug is gonna be a spring and there's gonna be an oil filter. And uh, the catch filter is just to catch any debris or anything that's flowing around through the oil there. So uh, I actually like that because then I get to see if there's any bits or um, shavings or anything like that in the motor oil. Now, when this gets off the threads, like I said, it is got a spring behind it, so it will kind of push out. So I don't want that cap to fall in there. Or the spring. Or the filter. So I gotta pull all that out. And that's the way yours should look too. It should be just like that. Should have. And that doesn't look bad. There's a little bit of little tiny stuff on it, but nothing, it's just dirt. So I'm gonna let that drain out for a couple of minutes. I'm gonna give it about probably 10 minutes just to get its uh, oil drained out there. And then I'm going to uh, put the plug back in and I can go ahead and take my cover off on the other side. Okay, so first thing we're gonna wanna do is you're gonna need a 12 millimeter wrench. Some might have a 13 mil bolt here, it's not a big deal. But you wanna remove this back nut here. just like that now I'm gonna go up um, I can't take the cable off here I'll never be able to and to try to pull it it's just not worth it so I'm gonna go up to the top I'm gonna take my handle off um, I'll show you what I mean we just need a 10 mil socket and my screwdriver So the nut down here is 10. Now, 
go ahead and take it right off. Like that. And we're gonna take this screw out. And there's two lines where this cable go. You just wanna line them up. Just like that. Take this bolt out. that and you can slip the handle out and if you did it right you can slip your cable right out like that and take your handle off and just leave the can the cable hanging like that and I'll put my bolt back through my handle so I don't lose it now we can go down and take off the clutch cover because now cable is nice and free we can get it out and down and out of the way and then I'm gonna take off this uh, brake thing like here like right like I said <clears throat> on your bike uh, the new uh, ghost that doesn't run for the same place so you know you won't have this in the way so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off These are massively long screws, so I'm gonna get an impact gun. I'll break it back in. All right, so I got my brake uh, assembly here out of the way somewhat. Um, what I'm gonna do is just take the pin out of there so I can just swing it down and out of the way. Together. Okay, so now we can go ahead and take off our clutch cover. Now, when you take your clutch cover off like this, I'm gonna do this before I finish, but um, I'm gonna put a piece of cardboard underneath here. So if any oil does need to drop down and out, um, it'll fall in the cardboard and it will be less mess on, on your floor as well for you to clean up after. So now we just have to start with our eight mils. If you're taking yours off for the first time and it's not this easy it's nothing uh you did bad this clutch cover has been off a few times before for different videos so it's uh the bolts aren't uh, on there so tight that you have to put your full arm into it um so now i'm just gonna go around and take off take the bolts all out until i know they're out of the threads i'm not gonna take them right out of the case Now, 
once you remove all of your your bolts and make sure go around and pull them out make sure that they're all out all of them like that see look at that i missed one i missed one <clears throat> so if i can miss one you guys at home can miss one and all it takes is one and this cover won't come off and you're going to fight with it and you're going to be wondering what the hell is going on all you need then is a mallet or you can uh, use the back side of a hammer or anything at all just one tap on the top should be enough there we go. Okay. So some of the bolts fell off. I really don't care. Um, I'll show you how to put them back on. So I'm going to pull this back nice and slow. There we go. The gasket on here is brand new because I put a brand new one on last time I worked on this. Wow. Well, it's not bad at all. It's, uh, it was actually time for an oil change on this too, so this is kind of nice. Anyway, put all this back in. All right, put that off with the brakes. Now's a good time to take a look at your clutch. Everything, make sure everything's nice in here. There's not a lot of wear. You can also look while well, you have this open. In here, you're gonna want to just rub in there, see if there's any flakes. And like I said, this bike has probably 12,000 miles on it, if not more, and there's nothing in the oil. The oil is dirty, and uh, it's it's been used up. Like like I said, I ride this bike every day, and uh, on Sundays I take it for long rides. So <clears throat> everything that I'm seeing here is nice. Oil pump wheels good. No uh, wear on the gearing. Oil catch basin right here is good. That's good. Everything's good. Clutch looks all right. It could probably use um, uh, some new pads there shortly. It's getting around that time to uh, change the clutch pads. But other than that, everything looks good. Uh, I guess one of my guides on the other side came out with the cover. So I have to go and take that. Here we are. There we go. And that's it though. If you notice, there's uh, no damage to anything. If you take this off and you find that your uh, your gasket your uh, your gasket rips while you're taking it off, um, you're gonna need to replace the gasket, or you could put your old gasket in with a, a good uh, gasket maker. I think I'm pretty sure I have a gasket maker video. Um, if you don't want to wait for a gasket, you can make gasket for this. And you can even buy paper gasket and do the trace. Um, you just have to remember um, the oil channel here. Um, you gotta remember if there's an oil channel on that. So yeah, so everything looks good basically on this. Good. So now I can go ahead and put my cover back on. I'm gonna get a rag because my hands are full, full of oil. So uh, we'll go ahead, we'll get this clutch cover back on, get the clutch handle back on and uh, fire it up and see what happens. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put this cover on, but uh, I wanted to show you real quick. Um, so when you push the clutch on your bike, a lot of people don't know this. So this here is your clutch and this is what pushes in on the clutch. So when you grab this arm, you'll notice that there's a little spot in there for that that shaft right there and when you turn it it shoves that shaft forward and what shoves that shaft forward oops, um, it compresses these the springs all back here and that's what engages your clutch um, I just kind of wanted to explain that before I started putting this back together uh, get some bolts fell out So now, when I put this back on, I'm gonna hold my arm of my clutch like that so it slips in on the clutch cover. So when you're putting the clutch cover back on, you should be holding the arm. You gotta make sure and get your screws in those. There we go. And hold the arm like that. And if you do that correctly, 
see it'll catch the arm all by itself and hold it like that and that'll go in nice and tight right away if it's not going in tight and you're kind of fighting it this is why it's oh i, I want to if you're fighting it putting it in it's because this is not in the right place and it's the it's not pushing on that pin so right now if i didn't do it the right way when i pulled my clutch later it wouldn't engage and if the arm is way back here someplace it's not it's not on the on the clutch right so there we go so now i'm just going to finger tighten in some of these bolts and for that i'm going to go corner to corner so that one's tight now go down and tighten this one in the corner down here and i'm going to hook to the corner right here And down to the corner over here. Then up to the center. Cross to the center. Then across to the top left then down to the bottom back up to the top down to the bottom again and back up to the top now I can go ahead and tighten this. Now that these are all in there, finger tight. And I'm going to do it the same way as I just did that. As soon as I find, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to start here. Give it a tighten. Then down here. Like that. And over to the center. This way. Down to the corner. Up to here. Down to here. Up. Down. Up. Okay, so those are all tight, but. Even though we think they're all tight, we're gonna go back around one more time and go around in a circle and just make sure that they're all tight. And like I said, you're putting a steel bolt into a soft metal crankcase. So you don't wanna to tighten too tight, um, but you want them to be fairly snug. Yeah, that's all tight. So there. So now all we have to do is uh, I'm going to put my brakes back on. But like I said, that, that won't affect you guys. So um, just the older Ghost brake setup is like this. The new one is uh, is a little bit different. But if you do have to take something apart, um, it's just like this. But yeah, the other Ghost is a little bit different. I know it is. This one's uh, a little bit different setup. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, Go ahead and put uh, my brakes back on. And I want to make sure that this plugs are actually plugged in first. So I'm going to show that rubber thing up there. See, those aren't pinching very well. I'm going to grab a set of pliers and pinch them so they grab on the rear brake better.
Nice. Now I can go ahead and put my clutch pedal back or clutch cable back on. Goes underneath like that. Oh, I should hook it into the hook it into my clutch first. There we go. And I never know I if you noticed I never um, uh, loosened that back nut. So it shouldn't affect my clutch's performance at all. This is gonna pull tighter as soon as I go put up my handle. <clears throat> so I got my eight mil, and my 10 mil, there we go. So I got my 10 mil and my flat screwdriver and now we can go put the handle back on. And then all we need to do is put oil back in it and that's it. Now to put a clutch pedal on, or a clutch handle, I'm sorry, <clears throat> um, or a brake handle, it's really easy. What you want to do is you want to make sure it lines up there first, like that, and then let the handle do the work. You don't have to pull on that cable or anything. Just do it like that. There we go. Now, just snug that, that's it. And the same with your nut, when you're putting your nut back on the bottom, do not over tighten that. If you do, your clutch handle will not release. It, it'll be too tight. And then it, it doesn't want to, uh, as soon as I go let go of the clutch, it's just the handle is gonna stick and I don't want that for sure. So. So it's lots. Just enough that my nut is tight, it won't fall off. Okay, so I'm back on the left side. What I want to do now is put my oil drain plug back in. I'm just gonna grab my creeper. Where did I get that? One? And it's gonna go in the exact same way we took it out. So. Just like that Ooh, is how it's going to go back in. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to get that bucket out of there. You know what the 
rest of the oil drain out of there. There's not much. down in the bucket is what he did. Well, that was fun. <clears throat> I'm going to let that finish draining out, obviously. And then I'll come back and grab that plug. All right, well, that was really dumb. So, okay, now we can uh, put our plug back in. And it, it happens to me every time. There's no joke. It happens, that sort of thing to me happens every time. So we're just going to put that in. Make sure it goes all the way in. You just use our socket then. And this is very fine thread. If you find that it's not going in easily, it's fighting you in any way when you're doing this, um, start again. You, you don't wanna. Oh, there we go. This kind of auto this rig. I think it's the last day for that one. That's all right. Handy dandy new paint rag. I don't care what color it is. Just want to give everything a little clean wipe. I don't like seeing oil splash after because then I think there might be a, a little bit of a leak and I don't like that. So I'm going to tighten that. Go. And don't over tighten that. People over tighten oil plugs all the time. I do not know why they do it, but they do. And then it's just, uh, and then it's just a nightmare to get off, especially on cars. I've seen a lot of cars trying to take them off. People have just torqued them on there, like they put them on with an impact gun. And then uh, trying to get it off is just a horror show. So. That's it guys, so now we have our oil plug back in. All I need to do is put oil in it, um, and that's it. And then I can check my clutch, make sure everything's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add my oil, and uh, then I'm gonna check out my clutch. But that should be it, guys. That's uh, how you change the clutch cover. Um, and that's it. Have a great day, guys. Like and subscribe, and hope to see you uh, in the next video. Ah, uh, just fooling. You thought I left you hanging there, right? No. Um, now that our clutch cover is, I got my oil back in. Um, we're going to make sure the clutch works. I want to make sure that everything is properly set for the way that it was. If you notice, I didn't touch my set screw um, on my on my clutch. So the bottom uh, nut right at the top, I didn't touch it at all. So it should be perfect. Um, you guys are going to be jealous at how nice this bike starts. Uh, just because it's like I said, it's a, this thing is well broken. Now watch when I touch the start button. it guys so that is the video um definitely like and subscribe if you have any ideas for videos uh leave them in comments below and uh let's see uh, i hope to see you in the next video